What's up guys, it's Zach the Celtics guy here. I'm back with another video and I'm here to um, actually going to be making a new type of video today. It's one of those top five type videos that I that I did, that I started doing like way back in the day. And I actually compiled a list of top fives that I'm going to be doing with all of you today that I'm going to be discussing. Today's video is going to be talking about the top five most outrageous comments that have been made by either political figures or politicians that basically sparked outrage worldwide. And, and like these are like the most outrageous things that basically like like literally people from like every corner of the world came out and condemned. And not surprising, all all of the people on this list here are are right-wingers or right-wing extremists or just flat-out fucking morons. But, uh, but sure enough, come to find out that I, that based on what, based on the analyses that I've actually found based on this, yes, they're all right. They're basically all people on the far right. And, and I, and I know that because I'm one of the comments that I'm actually going to be saying about the, on the top five list actually came from, uh, Donald Trump, believe it or not, but of course I know how people are going to react and be like, oh, Trump's not a right winger, oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, okay, well, well, whatever, say it, say what you want, but, uh, say what you want, but he's a fucking moron, and nine times out of ten, what comes out of his mouth is fucking disgusting. But this isn't about, oh, getting offended by this, getting offended by that. Basically what it is, is it's just, it's just calling out shit that sparked outrage worldwide and <laughs> it's just something that really needs to be said about these people because of what they do and the division that they spark throughout the world and especially through this country and through Brazil and all these other big powers and you you know you name it so so it's like uh, so it's like no like these people are just fucking absolute morons and it's it's just ridiculous. So the top, uh, so I'm gonna go from five up. I listed top five most outrageous comments that sparked outrage worldwide. So I'm gonna go from five up. Basically, number one is the worst comment on the list, and then the top, and then five is like the like least outrageous, but still it's pretty outrageous considering it's on this list. So here we go for number five. Number five, Trump, uh, number five uh, on the top five um, most outrageous comments that sparked outrage worldwide by political figures or politicians. Number, um, number five, going from five up. Number five, Trump's comments on Haiti and Africa. So for those of you who remember or don't remember, in January of 2018, approaching Trump's first year as president, and this was at the time that he had the lowest approval rating of, of any American president in their first one year uh, of, of being in the Oval Office. Like Trump's approval rating was like cratering around like being like one third or something. Can't even believe that many fucking people approved of him. But anyway, his comments on Haiti and Africa where he said, where he said that referring to them as shithole countries, he basically referred to Haiti and African nations as shit, as, as shitholes. Saying that, saying that we shouldn't have all these people here from these shithole countries. We should have more people basically coming in from, coming in from Norway. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's. That's pretty fucked up. Um, yeah, so basically what Trump did, and the reason why he got so much outrage for these comments, is because his comments about Africa and Haiti were fucking disgusting. And the reason is, is it's not like Trump was just calling these countries uh, corrupt or rife with corruption. Now, you all know my videos on, on, um, on like political styles of government worldwide. I've called uh, all sorts of countries for corruption and things like that. But the problem is, is, is that this dumb motherfucker at the time decided to lump in all countries and not surprising their, their countries that are, that have uh, racial minorities and most of them are of African descent. And he also called African countries, shithole countries, and then turning around saying that people from Norway should come, should come here instead. Yeah, uh, pretty fucked up. And obviously he would want people from Norway to come here. Why? Because they're mostly, why? Because they're white. Yeah, that's probably the reason. So yeah, um, 
This is just a, many of the reasons why I fucking hated Trump then. I hated, I hate Trump now, and I always have hated Trump, and I always will fucking hate him. Because he, because he's a disgusting fucking parasite, and his comments about Africa and Haiti and about others is, is absolutely fucking disgusting. So people can say what they want. Oh, he's this big, badass, politically incorrect person. No, he's not. He's a slimy, weaselly fucking scumbag is what he is. And why did he get voted out of office? It's for comments like this. And it's for behavior like this. Okay? So whether or not that's true, that's not something a fucking president should say. Okay? So get the fuck out of here. Slandering an entire country or continent of people based on race is fucked up. It's fucked up and it's fucking disgusting. Okay? I, I don't give a fuck. Okay? You can sit there and say, oh, blah, 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 whatever. Okay? It doesn't fucking matter. Okay? What he said about, about Haitians and Africans is fucking despicable. It's fucking disgusting. And he's a fucking piece of shit. And he deserved every iota of that criticism and more. Okay? He deserves every single bit of it. He said, quote, why do we need more Haitians? The Washington Post quoted Trump as saying, cited people briefed on the meeting. Take them out. And then, refer and then someone said they referred to him as shitholes and calling it racist. Yeah, I'm not the one to throw around the term racist, but, but to slander an entire country of people based on race is racist. Okay? So 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 when you so when you so unless you are sitting there and calling them out on their corruption or their styles of government or whatever, to say that Haiti and Africa are shitholes, that's racist. I don't give a fuck what anyone says, and it's racist, and what Trump said was fucking disgusting, and one of the main reasons I hate him. I think he's a fucking piece of shit. I fucking hate him, and you're not going to change my mind on that. So fuck Donald Trump and fuck everything about him. That's number five. Number four, and of course, this is, uh, this is actually uh, Trump's fucking idol that is on number four. Number four, Bolsonaro's comment on Norway. Yes, and, w and with that on Norway, which, by the way, I'm going to get back to. You know what basically people in Norway said about Trump when, when Trump wanted to say that, oh, yeah, we should bring people from Norway to come here. Hmm. Yeah, people from Norway, one of the most successful uh, countries in the world, styles of government in the world, with, uni one, with one of the best education systems in the world, one of the best healthcare systems in the world, and one of the lowest crime rates in the world, are going to give up all of that to come over to the U.S. at the time when the U.S. was, was basically run by a thin-skinned, orange, bloated fucking snowflake and a moron and a piece of shit, and a fascist piece of shit at that. So yeah, Norwegians are going to come to America to get a taste of our fucking orange man baby who was in office at the time and thankfully isn't in office anymore. So yeah, people from Norway and then people from Norway were basically like, yeah, ha, ha America? Yeah, we're gonna come to America under, under that guy. Yeah, ha, ha, okay, whatever. And of course, not saying Biden is any better or whatever, but hey, whatever. But of course, I always got to reiterate that because people somehow think that because I'm saying that about fucking Trump, that makes me meaning that I'm defending uh, Joe Biden. Like, no, it's got nothing to do with Biden. It's got to do with Trump and how much I fucking hate him. So anyway, moving on. Y'all know my feelings on that. I'm not going to go off on any more tangents about that because I, I don't have all day to go through it with that. Because I don't have all day to go through it, <laughs> go through that kind of thing. Number four, but well, of course, Bolsonaro's comments on Norway and Europe. So again, another fascist piece of shit going after Norway, which is funny because I think they're jealous of Norway and how successful Norway is. <laughs> I think they're fucking jealous. I think these fucking right wing assholes are jealous of Norway. Saying, and Nor Norway's environmental minister said at the time, quote, Brazil broke the agreement with Norway and Germany since suspending the board of directors and the technical committee of the Amazon fund. So Norway, Germany, France, and other EU countries basically cut Norway, uh, cut Brazil's funding, uh, cut their funding to Brazil because Bolsonaro was destroying the Amazon rainforest and basically not abiding by the deal. So basically they're just like, okay, fuck you, we're going to stop sending you money then. And then Bolsonaro's comments turned around saying, isn't Norway the country that kills whales? And, and then he fumbled it like the fucking retard that he is and literally slandered Norway saying that, oh, they're the country that kills whales. 
Little did the, little does that dumb motherfucker know that 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 kind of stuff was going on in the Faroe Islands, which are which are a part of Denmark. So wasn't even from Norway. And then people worldwide mocked the stupid motherfucker, and rightfully so, being like, "Ha ha, really? What a dumb, what a dumb fucking moron! The Trump of Brazil, essentially." Which is basically what he was. So no, those comments sparked outrage worldwide because he basically fucking slandered Norway based on policy and based on a, a political disagreement, which is what the right wing does on a daily basis anyway. Number three, Ron DeSantis' comments on Australia. So again, these see the reason why these fucking right wing dumb fucks go after like liberal democracies like Norway and and the Netherlands, and Australia, and New Zealand, is because they're probably fucking jealous, or either that, or they just hate them because they're threatened by countries like that. Because peaceful, loving democracies like that, you know, what they believe in, what people like Trump and Bolsonaro and Ron DeSantis believe in, they believe in establishing a fascist dictatorship on the United States of America, because they are fucking fascist dictators by any stretch of any imagination. He said, quote, how do I know that? Because I have people writing to me from Australia and Canada and some places saying they're looking to Florida for leadership. And they appreciate we're actually standing and defending people's rights and liberties, DeSantis said. Yeah, this was at the time when Australia actually decided to, um, oh, I don't know, back when COVID was a major problem for Australia and the world. And Australia took measures to basically, uh, you know, decided to basically impose restrictions and whatnot, which, again, I'm opposed to lockdowns and vaccine mandates for my own personal reasons and whatnot. But let's see, how many people in Australia died from COVID? Oh, I don't know, maybe a few thousand. How many died in the U.S.? Oh, yeah, we, we just recently, up, we, are, we just recently passed a million COVID deaths, more than any country in the world. Okay, so, oh yeah, and by the way, where is Australia on the Freedom Index? Hmm, I think, uh, and oh yeah, let's not forget that about a decade before the U.S. did, Australia managed to get LGBT protections uh, nationwide for all of their citizens in the LGBT community, whereas these people are undermining LGBT rights as we speak. But remember guys, these are the same people that call others authoritarians when they themselves are the authoritarian. I fucking hate Ron DeSantis. I hate him. I hate Trump. I hate about 90% of these fucking right-wing assholes that are governing this country and are running our country into the ground as we speak. So yeah, with that, no, he can go fuck himself. Let's get to the next one here, and I'm going to try to find that next article here. Okay, number two. Rick Santorum's comments on the Netherlands. So at the time, if this was back in February of 2012, when, when um, Rick Santorum was running for uh, president of the U.S. at the time, and obviously he got his fucking ass kicked by every single other Republican um, official who was running for, for uh, president at the time, because uh, Rick Santorum is also known for being, a, for being an extreme homophobe a war criminal and he's known for being like a for being like a borderline racist as well. Rick Santorum is one of the most extreme political figures in the US. He's a he's a bigot and he's a fucking scumbag. And he's also a fucking moron and he's ignorant and he's not very intelligent either. He's not very bright. And basically the Netherlands told Rick Santorum to go fuck himself when he said that legal euthanization is responsible for 10% of all debts from the Netherlands. And little, little, and lo and behold, euthanization only represented 2.3% of deaths in 2010. The most recent study of euthanization at the time. And Rick Santorum's comments sparked outrage worldwide, including in the Netherlands. Basically because, again, this is another right-wing asshole uh, slandering uh, other countries and other people based on policy. And the Netherlands told him to go fuck himself because he deserves it and he deserves every single bit of uh, global criticism coming his way. And why not? Because Rick Santorum is a fucking piece of shit and he's a fucking ignorant bastard and he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Much like 90% of the right wingers in the US and throughout the world don't know what they're fucking talking about. But... Good news, obviously, uh, people in the Netherlands and worldwide, including in the U.S., saw that Rick Santorum got destroyed by every other Republican 
uh, on the stage, including Mitt Romney, and then Obama went on to win re-election, which was good for all of us at that time. Even Mitt Romney would have been better than this motherfucker, and, probably, and of course would have been better than most of these others. Because, you know, obviously Romney being more moderate than these other right-wing politicians, but that's a whole nother topic altogether. Number one, and this is obviously the most outrageous thing that I found on the list of most outrageous comments, was in fact this. Number one, Michael Savage's comments on Muslims. Now, for those of you who don't know, Michael Savage is an extreme right-winger. He's, bas he's, he's, he's basically like a white nationalist and a right-wing extremist. He fosters extreme comments. He basically is intolerant of basically anybody who dares to disagree with them, even like moderate libertarians this guy is against. He's basically like a more extreme version of Alex Jones. Like he is, like Michael Savage is probably like the most, is probably the most extreme right-wing radio host that there is in, the, in this entire country. He might be one of the worst in the world probably. I wouldn't doubt it. He's made all sorts of offensive comments about gay people and racial minorities, basically bitched about the left is wrong no matter what, and the right wing is right no matter what. You know, like, Michael Savage is one of the worst out there. Like, he, he, he's just outrageous. The reason I put this on the list is because he basically called for killing Muslims. Oh yeah, let's not forget, Michael Savage is also a bigot against Muslims. He's also made bigoted comments about Mexicans. Hmm, much like his martyr Donald Trump did, calling all Mexicans rapists and shit like that. Ha <laughs> ha, stay classy. Michael Savage said on April 17th, 2006, on the topic of Muslims, quote, They say, oh, there's a billion of them. I say, so kill 100 million of them. Then there'll be 900 million of them. I mean, would you rather die? Would you rather us die than them? So basically, Michael Savage was calling for the genocide of a million, of a hundred million Muslims. Yeah. So the reason I put that on the number one list is because, well, the other four comments that I find, they're basically just right-wing assholes, ignorant motherfuckers, basically just saying stupid shit, like off the cuff, that got them criticized by literally everybody. But this one, no, this scumbag was literally calling for the death of 100 million people. Doesn't get any worse than that, right? I mean, you can barely get any worse than that calling for the deaths of anybody, of any group. That's called genocide. When you, when you kill someone based on race, religion, or ethnicity, that's fucking genocide. Michael Savage is a fucking genocidal piece of shit. And of course, he was pals with Trump and was pals with Mike Pence and basically every other and, and basically every other right wing asshole that that there is. And the reason is is because Michael Savage is just a one trick pony and he's and he lives in a right wing echo chamber. Does everything that he accuses the left of doing. A right wing SJW in a nutshell. So yeah, that's pretty much that. So no, Michael Savage is a piece of shit. Everyone on this list is a piece of shit. I hate him. I hate Ron DeSantis. I hate Rick Santorum especially. I hate Bolsonaro and I hate Trump. There you have it. So these are the top five most outrageous comments that spark the most amount of worldwide outrage. I'm sure there's more. <laughs> I'm sure there's more because trust me, the, the, right, the right wing says so much stupid, outrageous bullshit that I literally, I'd literally have to make like 10 parts in order to go through all of the things that the right wing has said throughout history that sparked domestic and international outrage. I don't even have all day to go through it, but in even one video, and it took me 18 minutes to do exactly that. But as someone who's center left, I, I feel like someone who is moderately liberal and has progressive viewpoints like on universal health care, universal education, and so on and so forth, non-intervention, you name it. I think it's important for us on the moderate left and encouraging people that I know who's on the moderate right to expose people like this for what they are because they, because they need to be called out at every turn by people domestically and internationally because it sends a message that, oh no, we reject this bullshit and we're not gonna fucking take it. And we're not just gonna sit back and take it. 
and I am an example who is going to do exactly that. And I will continue to do so because, because that's just what I do. It's one of the many things I do and I will continue to do. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up uh, with that. So this concludes today's video on the top five most outrageous comments that were made by uh, political figures that sparked the most amount of worldwide outrage. And, uh, and to, to the surprise of probably nobody, they're all from right-wingers. Go figure, huh? But anyway, thank you all for listening. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you, again, see you all again soon in the next video stream premiere, whatever, whatever it happens to be. This is Zach, the Celtics guy, saying thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content coming your way soon. I'll see you all again next time. More stuff on the way and a whole bunch of other shit in the works. Stay tuned. Bye for now. Peace out. Take care and have a good day.